Hi guys, welcome to my channel where we talk about all things tech. Today, I wanted to share with you guys my experience with failing and then passing the CompTIA Security Plus. And this uh, is what started my entire cybersecurity career. So when I first became interested in cybersecurity, the CompTIA Security Plus stood out just because it was a certification that covered a lot. So it covered a broad range of different cybersecurity topics and I thought, yeah, this is the right thing for me. So the CompTIA Security Plus does say that you need two years experience, ideally before taking the certification, but this isn't set in stone and I didn't have two years experience before I embarked on this journey. First off, I started by going on YouTube and watching videos of loads of people who had passed the certification, seeing the kind of tips and tricks they used, and that's how I kind of began delving deeper into the certification and what it required. Um, and I saw that some people did crazy things like pass it in 30 days or studied it for a week and passed. And so it kind of gave me an idea of what I needed to do to pass certification. Then I started with Professor Mercer. Now, Professor Mercer on YouTube has a full CompTIA Security Plus course, and this course is amazing. It covers every single module that the Security Plus exam goes through and really, really helps you understand the different points. The second thing I started to use straight away was the all-in-one CompTIA Security Plus guide, um, which is a book that has loads of practice questions, breaks down the different modules, and also gives you tips and tricks inside of the book. The second thing I did was use the free resources I found on Twitter. Now, Twitter is an absolutely amazing resource for anything to do with tech, not just cybersecurity. And you'll find that loads of people post free resources, free downloads, free Udemy courses, free practice tests on Twitter. So that was really, really a big deal and really helped me out. I studied for about four months before I took the exam for the first time. And sometimes I was really studying hard every single day for quite a few hours of the day and other times I was quite relaxed about it only studying like for 30 minutes so it wasn't consistent throughout the four months but especially between the two weeks leading up to the exam it was intense. With the CompTIA Security Plus once you buy the exam which is around $350 which is around £300 um, you have one year to take the exam so I had bought the exam quite a few months ahead of time and then it's we have one year before that voucher expires. The majority of people take the CompTIA Security Plus at home and that's what I did. You do have to take pictures of the room you're taking the exam in and also someone is watching you through your webcam while you're doing the exam. The exam is 90 questions and you have 90 minutes to complete the exam. The total score you can get is 900 and you need to get 750 out of 900 to pass the exam. The first five questions of the exam are performance based which means that they're kind of a practical question and every single tip and kind of trick I got from Twitter, Reddit was to skip the first five questions and go back to them if you have time. So do the other 85 multiple choice questions first and then go back to it. Now while I was doing this I went back to the practical questions and my computer froze. So there is a chat box I went to the chat box and I spoke to the person, the proctor who's watching me and said, like my screen is frozen. And he said to reset my whole computer um, and start again and log back in and it should be fine. And when I restarted my computer, logged back in, the exam was gone. And so that whole exam I had done almost 90 minutes, I'd done all the multiple choice questions and then got to the practical questions and it had crashed. And so I was given a voucher to redo the exam. But yeah, that was that exam completely wasted down the drain. So do be aware that technical issues can happen. I honestly felt really, really confident about that first exam. And even though I didn't get a score from it, I thought I did pretty well, that the questions didn't seem too difficult. So I only waited about two weeks before I took the exam again and um, I failed. I failed, crashed and burned. It wasn't too bad. So you need 750 to pass and I got 730 out of 900. 
I did procrastinate a lot. I don't know, I think my confidence was a bit knocked and I thought I had to find a new approach to take this exam. So I did procrastinate and it took me about three months to get back into kind of like study mode and set a final date for my exam. I decided I needed to find a few new ways of studying, figuring things out. So I found a new study book, which was Get Certified, Get Ahead. And honestly, I would recommend this book to anyone interested in doing this Acuity Plus. It's really, really good, concise, and really gets you to understand the different points that are gonna come up in the exam. It has a practice exam at the end of each chapter. And once I started getting, I think it's 10 questions, 10 to 15 questions, but once I started getting only two wrong of those questions at the end of each chapter, I knew I was ready to get started and retake the exam. Another really good resource I found was Reddit. So Reddit has a whole CompTIA forum where people who've passed the exam share how they've passed, what marks they've got, what they found difficult, what they found easy, and just generally share tips, tricks, and resources to help you get through the CompTIA Security Plus exam. So that's one of my number one resources. So I took the final test. I actually took it at 1 a.m. in the morning, UK time um, because I'd been studying really really intensely for like the last two weeks leading up to the exam and I kind of just had to bite the bullet um, yeah so I took it at 1am um, and I went through it and I got 800 out of 900 so ooh, I was so happy I passed that I hadn't ended the exam and started like shouting and telling my family like hey hey I've passed and the proctor was like hey I'm like what are you doing why are you moving why are you moving rooms why are you making noise so someone is watching you when you take the exam but that's how I passed the computer security plus and this was the certification that really got me through the door in my cyber security career so my top resources and tips would be reddit Twitter, getting practice exams on Udemy, um, and then the Get Certified, Get Ahead book, and also Professor Mercer's um, YouTube course, which I will leave the link in the description box to all of these things that I'm recommending. And yes, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this has helped. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, especially if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time. Bye.